Hey everybody, here we are coming at you from the man cave because people keep writing, asking for examples um, of body weight stuff and they don't have dungeons and they get confused. Even if I do body weight stuff in the dungeon, they would rather see it in a home space kind of area. So that's what we're bringing you. This one is a back blast. Say that five times fast. Now you can either do this as a circuit, which I recommend, or you can do it as straight sets as a back workout. And I recommend any time, any, anywhere from three times through, 12 to 15 reps on the intermediate side, 15 to 20 reps on the advanced side. And we're going to show you a couple variations two times through. So you're ready to, you're ready to show them what it's like? Yeah. So all you need is a towel. Everyone's got a towel. And different size towels lend to different kinds of intensity as well. We'll get to that another time. But we're starting the first station with kneeling towel pull down. So Byron's going to get in a kneeling position. And he's going to press that up overhead and behind his ears. Right? And then back here at me. No, back here at me. Way back. Way back. There we go. That's where we want it. Boom. So he's going to kneel. He's going to pull. He's pulling on both ends of the towel. And he's going to try to get 15 to 20 reps. And then he would just alter his kneeling each set. So next set we'll do the other leg kneeling. Boom. Excellent. Count them out. 10. Good. All the way down. 11. Good. All the way down. 12. Boom. 13. Two more. 14. Good. I right, get 20. 15. Get 20. Get 20. That's it. 16. Lower, bring it down here. 17. There you go. Boom. 18. Two to you. 19. Good. 20. 20. All right, he's going to stand it up, shake it off a little bit. Good, good, good. He's going to get that towel in front with another staggered stance, and we're going to do some pull-in rows. So some bent rows, because he's bent over, but it's not a complete bent row. And he's trying to pull that towel apart. We're going to get 15. Really reach out in front. Boom. Excellent. Next set we'll definitely do from the other way so you can see it from the back as well. That's awesome. Good. See it working back here. Boom. Pull that towel apart. Eleven. Good. Twelve. Good. Thirteen. Yep. Fourteen. Fifteen. Good. Pull with the elbows. Sixteen. Good. Seventeen. Keep pulling. Pull it. Good. All right, shake it off, shake it off. Give it a little break. Then we're going to get right into some supine scapular shrugs. Some people call them back widows. So he's going to lay down. He's going to bring his arms up to parallel. He's going to place his fingers out, and he's going to push into the ground with his elbows. Boom! And don't let that tension off at the bottom. And he's going to try to crunch his elbows together as if there was no, no floor there. He's going to get 15 to 20. Keep pushing. You can do it with legs straight out, which makes it harder. Don't, no, that's okay. It's hard enough as it is. Bend your knees again. Good. That's it. Push on there. Get as high as you can. Good. Get as high as you can. Push. Yep. Squeeze it. That's it. Take a pause if you need, but get 15 to 20. Good. Get all of them up here too. Good. That's it. Great. Good. Alright. Then he's going to take his time. He's going to roll it over into a plank position. And we're going to have our fists face each other. And he's going to do the same thing. But now we're doing it from the prone position. And we're going to do scapular shrugs. Fist facing. He's going to push into the floor with his elbows. Not his forearms. You can see all that working here through the scapula. Boom. He's going to get 15 to 20, not to mention the core demands. Boom. Squeeze it out. Get as high as you can. There you go. Push. Shrug it up. Shrug it up. Awesome. Good. That's it. Finish it off. 18. Yep. Two to you. Push through the floor. Good. Uh, and he's just gonna he's gonna shake that off. Gonna grab that towel again. He's gonna lie back on his back. Boom. And now we're gonna do just single leg isometric shrugs. 
not technically isometric, but so he's going to grab that towel. He's going to use his leg for resistance. Other leg is straight out so that his plane is even. And here we go, shrugging it up. And he just takes as much or as little resistance as he wants from the towel. Boom. Counting them out. Six. Seven. Good. Squeeze eight, it. Oh. Nine. Good. Ten. Oh. Good. Eleven. Awesome. Oh. Great. Oh. Yep. Squeeze it. Good. Oh. Squeeze it. Seventeen. Oh. Eighteen. Nineteen. Good. Oh. Awesome, awesome. So just rest it up because we're going to shoot one more from behind. Oh. Now, what you would do on the kneeling and the shrugs is you just switch legs each set, so that's fine. Now, I recommend doing the circuit style like this, but you can break it down into a back workout where you would do the exercise in straight sets fashion. So you would just do all your sets of the pull downs, all your sets of the rows, all your sets of the scapular shrugs, but it is a superset, that one, and then finish with the uh, towel shrugs. Now, there's options on the towel shrugs we'll show you at the end, but we're gonna show you the towel shrugs from behind because I think we should shoot them this way this time. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll show them the other option, but we're gonna shoot round two exactly like, like we just did okay. with the line, I, and we're gonna switch legs, of course. So. Yeah. Now, the pull down behind, you wanna press it up first and then bring your arms back so you can engage your posterior chain so this should, your arms should be back near ear level, and then I want you to pull down to your traps because range of motion matters when you're just using body weight stuff, so that's what we want to do. So, right. Are you recovered? Yeah. Okay, you can tell us all about it later, but let's get that second set facing behind this time. So we're going to switch legs. It's kneeling. So first thing he's going to do is press it overhead. I'm going to help you this time. And then his arms come back even with his ears, and now he's ready to engage. Boom. That's it, pulling that towel apart. And I want to, all the way down to the tracks, that's it. That towel wanted to touch right there, there you go. Bones, that's it. Don't be in a hurry to take it back up. Yep, you're squeezing both ends of the towel on both the eccentric and the concentric. There you go. Good, good. You never let that resistance off on eccentric or concentric. Good, touch the traps, bones, bones. Where are we at? 14. Good, squeezing them out. 15. Good. 16. Awesome. 17. Good. That's it, touch the traps. Make sure you finish all the way back to the top on that last one, squeeze it, good. Shake it off. Good, good, good. Take a second, take a couple seconds. Boom. And he's going to roll it up, and we're still shooting from the back so you can see what I saw last set. When you're ready. So he rolls that, show him how you roll that up first, and then turn around. So that, and then rolls it, and then pulls it. Thumbs Good. Up. Now turn it around. Yep, thumbs up. It's the Fong's grip. He leans that forward for the bent row. Pull with the elbows. Good. Elbows come up. Good. At the very end, they come up. There you go. Bams. Boom, so the elbows come back first and then they come up. Peak contraction, boom. So that towel comes right into the stomach, right into the navel. And again, pull that towel on both parts of the rep, eccentric and concentric. Squeeze them out. Boom. Yep. Row it. Yep. Yep, keep that tension in there. Don't forget, even on the eccentric, boom. Yep, even on that stretch, pull on that towel. Good. Come on. Finish it up. Boom. Yep, when you're ready, we'll drop to the floor facing this way still. Yep, when you're ready. Is that the same angle as last time? Just the same angle as yep. last to turn it around. Yep, good. Yeah, want to get the different angle this time. So his elbows are going to come up parallel, pretty much parallel, right? And he's going to fingers apart, and he's going to bury those elbows into the ground. Bam! Obviously, we can't shoot from underneath, but that's what's working is 
the whole scapular area. It's gonna get 15 to 20. You can see the demands through the core as abs are working. Boom. Excellent. Good, and you never take the tension off. So he's digging those elbows right in and he's trying to squeeze them together actually. Good. Yep. 14. Good. 15. Boom. Yep. Good. 19. Good. Good. Awesome. Take your time. Yep. Give it a shake it off. Shake it off. Good. Yep. Then we'll roll it over. The opposite angle of last time. So he's going to have. He's going to put his fists together once he gets near that plank. So his fists are actually squeezing against each other. So there's an isometric force there. He's into the plank and then check it out. So now we've got the prone scapular shrugs. He's going to get 15 to 20. Look at all those muscles bunching and expanding. Bunching and expanding. Boom. So he's forcing those fists together at the same time he's pushing his elbows into the floor. Trust me, folks, it's wicked hard, but you can see everything working, so I don't have to convince you of anything. Squeeze it. Good. 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 Squeeze it them out. Bam. Good. Awesome. When you're ready, shake it off, shake it off, and we'll do the other, other foot this time. Yeah, I'm going to do the other angle. Excellent. Exactly what I wanted. So he gets set up when he's ready. Doing it like a circuit, so minimal rest, but we're changing everything. Plane of motion, range of motion. This leg is straight out so that his plane stays even. And he uses that foot for resistance. And he pushes in or out of it as much as he wants in order to get the tension that he needs. Awesome. Good, so he's shrugging those traps to the ears. Boom. Squeezing them out. Good. Yep, good. Good. Boom. Awesome. Good. 16. Boom, boom, boom. Good. 18. 19. And boom, the veins were popping there, so something's happening. Good, good, good. Now the only other option there, the way to rattlesnake that, is we could do the shrugs standing up. But you need something to have an anchor point so you're not wobbling all over the place. So just a wall or a doorway. So this is just another way to finish it. We're just going to finish it with standing shrugs, which changes the whole plane into vertical and he does the same motion. He leans back for support. Boom. Boom. Uses that leg for as much resistance as he wants or doesn't want and he shrugs back. Boom. Awesome. Just to give you an idea of the variation possibility. And you don't have to get any more than that. Though. That's good. So that is a body weight only back blast now 20 reps per station, even though if you're doing it as a straight sets workout, then your scapular shrugs are actually a superset. So you do, from, you do them from uh, supine to prone, supine to prone. But if you did all those five stations at all 20 reps, which you don't have to do either all 15 or all 20, you could do 20 and then 15 or, or however hard it is. But if you do all five stations for 20, that's 100 reps. 100 reps times three sets. 300 reps of back work. Uh, tell them how easy that is. Really, really easy. Just need a towel and uh, very effective. You feel it. You feel your whole back is, you know, it's nice and tight. You feel it from the from it's getting that pump and uh, yeah, it's a back workout, man. So if you're stuck at home and that's a total waste of time. No, no, it's effective. I, easy to do. You can do it anywhere. Yeah. You there use you a go. pillowcase. You can do anything really. Yeah. At the beach, on vacation, yeah. at the campgrounds. Yeah. Whatever. So I'm showing you ways to isolate the body parts 
You could put them into one huge circuit, or you can do a body part day, or you can do it twice a week, whatever. The options are endless, but that's a body weight back blast. We did it in the man cave, so you have no excuses. Everyone's got towels at home, even dirty ones in the hamper. So there you go. That's a body weight back blast, and uh, hopefully you give it a try, and you'll see very, very effective. And uh, if that helps, by all means, please subscribe, hit like, all that fun stuff, and we'll see you all in the next video.